I am back with another video and I'm actually really excited for this video because it is something that I have never done before and I am going to show you. Now before I get started I'm just going to apologize for the glare off of the table that I'm using because I am filming in my bedroom on a little mini table <laughs> sitting on my bed because this is the only room in the house that has air conditioning and it is so stinking hot you guys. So I am filming in here because I cannot film in my office. My office doesn't even have a fan and it's so bad in there. But I'm actually really excited. So for those of you who don't know, I did make the design team for the Traveller's Notebook online store here in Australia. I'm so, so excited because that store is actually a store that I've been buying from for well over a year now. And I have loved that store for such a long time. And when the opportunity came up and there was applications, I applied for it and I got it. And I'm so, so excited. And I am creating some stuff today using some of the items that came, on, came in our design team kit. Now, one of the things that came in the kit is this uh, Simple Stories binder for your December daily. And I've never done a December daily. I've always loved the idea of it, but I've never done it. And I just thought this was super, super cute. Now, I have kind of opened it up, not really. Um, but basically, this is what it looks like on the inside. I haven't done anything to it yet. There is a bunch of your sleeves, a pocket, and then these cute little pages and little knickknacks and things in there. I really do like that one. And what I'm actually doing today is I am creating a page to go in this and I am using the Nuvo Brilliant Vibrant Highly Pigmented Watercolor Pencils. This is also something that I got in my design team. Now I have actually used these pencils you will see some of them are a lot shorter than the others because I wanted to do a, do a test run that to know that I actually knew what I was doing before I filmed this video because I'd never used watercolored pencils before so this was a first time for me and I was so pleasantly surprised at the quality of basically the artwork that I did so that is what I'm doing now I'll just show you this is what the pencils look like. They come in this beautiful tin. As you can see, I have used the yellow and the red a lot more than the others because that was the primary colors of what I was using for my previous project when I was testing it out. But this comes with 12 different colors. They are absolutely beautiful. I will say, though, uh, if you have a heavy hand like I do, you will break the, the lead easy because the, like the pigment, if you... Um, that's what it's called, is softer than a normal non watered color pencil. So keep that in mind. Don't be uh, heavy handed with your pencil. So that is basically what I'm using. Now I, you can use any image you want. I just happen to have this one. That's something I bought off of Etsy a little while ago. And this is the image that I want to use in my, in my December deli, if you will. Now I am using my water brush pen that I've had for quite some time. You can get these in a lot of different places. And then I've just got a bit of like tissue paper, toilet paper, whatever to wipe my pen on. So let's get started with this because this is like something I am so excited for. You guys just don't, don't even know how excited I am.
looks like when you use watercolor pencils. I think the effect of this looks so beautiful, you guys. Now, obviously, like I said before, I have never used watercolor pencils before I tried using these ones, and this is my first time. So there's definitely probably techniques out there that I don't know yet, but I think for being um, someone who's never done this before, I think this turned out really, really well. And as towards the end there, you did see me blot the black a bit because some of your darker colours can pull in certain areas. I just blot it to get the excess off. And you can see there's definitely little imperfections in this where things aren't exactly fully blended properly. Um, but I like that look though. I think it just looks really nice. It kind of has like a rustic feel to it. Now, like I said before earlier in the video, you can see slightly where the colour has run from the printer because, you know, printed ink is not meant to be used with watercolour. So if that bothers you, you can use a black marker, like a fine liner, to re-outline everything. I don't think I will. I mean, I may do. I'm not sure yet, but I don't think it really matters because I think it kind of adds to the character of this image. But that's basically how these beautiful nouveau watercolor pencils work as you can see i've definitely used a lot of the yellow and the red and i am definitely going to be doing a lot more projects with these i really love using them and i honestly never thought i would this is the brilliantly vibrant set i know they have like a neutral one as well i'm not sure how many of these uh are out there but i know that they definitely do have a neutral if you are interested though in these nouveaus i will leave the links to the travels notebook website down below so that you can check them out because sue the lovely lady who runs this store does sell these beautiful pencils which is where i got these from as a part of my design team kit and if you are interested there is a 10 percent off coupon code down below for you guys to use as well um, which who doesn't love a discount and I am not going to be popping this into my December daily today that is going to be a separate video for when I set this up because I don't know exactly how I want it in there just yet and I haven't set my December daily up so when I do that I will film, film a video and I will show you how I turn this beautiful picture into a page for my December daily. So anyway guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And please visit the Travelers Notebook uh, Facebook group. We do have a group over there as well. So not just the design team, but you guys as well can communicate with one another, share your projects and things like that, which I think is really fun. We definitely need a group like that here in Australia for us crafty and planner girls. And I will also leave all of the links for all of the websites and discount codes, like I said, down below. Hope you like this cute little picture and I'll see you guys later. Bye.